as Castillo. So it's only his second professional fight in the United States. And again, he's got 12 knockouts in his 15 fights. It was a little sweeping left hand. But uh, listen, uh, and that was control. You know, work his way on the inside and do some good body work. This could be very interesting. Like like that, like Southpaw Burgos has ever fought in his ago. So he's got to take a little time to figure out this style from the opposite side of what he's used to his whole career. Which are contending and make a statement. Step up to a name exactly, and because this is a rough game, which have has been in against tough fighters, and he's not afraid to swat it. That's a little low from Burgos, but you see, he is a committed body attack. And see, that's what Burgos. He knows he has to go in and hit to the body. Yeah, and he's trying some overhand. Uh, looping punches as well. Oh, that one caught uh, Castillo. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he... he there in round number two, two again, uh, just when you think Castillo is taking over. Uh, Burgos wakes up to that type of fighting. Against Xavier Martinez. That was back in May. That was in Carson, California. That fight on short notice, and the two of them combined for over 1,700 punches. It's on short notice. Good body work there by Castillo. Backs Burgos up. And he turned that round on Burgos and came out firing uh, with both hands. Uh, I, 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 that's what I like about this kid. To throw punches. He's, his punch count is, is remarkable, too. He's throwing a lot of punches in each round, and he throws them from different angles as well. I look kind of a, the old, old, like a looping left hand coming over the top from Castillo. Now Burgos goes back to work on the body. And right. Castillo answers immediately. That's about a seven punch to be able to weather a storm and still be able to have the video. Oh, you hit me, I'm gonna get him back. Like right. you would think when you win the rounds on the combo box stats, normally you can also win them on combination spinning off the ropes as Castillo uppercut by Castillo. It's a good weapon against Burgos, but I gotta tell you, right now Burgo, you know landing he's landing a couple of those got hit on the back of the head right there it's just a chop right hook that's coming down on him but uh but i, I gotta tell you this is a, now it's turning into a little ball on the inside here gotta keep him up one carlos yeah let's see a little bit low but then goes back to the head so castillo is able to go to the body as well he's made the investment and a lot of his punches are body down he came in a that sort of thing. And again, young. I thought the, the first two rounds were very close and because of the body punching from Burgos. And, and I'm here wondering if you know the judges ringside or a lot of those uh, shots that Burgos scored to the body were... He loved on Carlos. He he loved. Marco, I swing from what we're talking about with different angles, body and head. Not running around the ring too much. He's keeping his elbows in close while he's getting the shots from Burgos. Uh, his trunks is... Into the body too as well. Like, which is what we're... A revelation that just looks like a sensational young fight. Uh, destined for a world championship going up against Juan Carlos Burgos just for so slending lots calling it a low blow I think he's gonna take a point away from pretty soon if he can't blow against Castillo right now because he's worn him twice already for it they're both they're punching him on the hips to slow him down a little bit because he's supposed to really affect your movement uh, the belt line is right on the um, kind of uh, the legal area. Uh, quite sternly. So a nice left uppercut. Two of them went for three and four. Burgos has been through many a war of attrition. Some he wins, some he loses. Set it up for the kids like a little tent. And let Dio's do it. Yeah. He's down, he's down in the backyard. Happy fun door. Well, there's a couple of heat men going in here right now. I got to tell you, this has been a really, really good fight. A very competitive fight. Uh, you know, I mean, look, I, I, I think you could give Burgos a lot. And he should have never turned his back on him. And a, and a great learning experience like that. He uh, was kept out by the jab. Then he lands a couple of punches. It could be tied up officially at this point. To the body. But he should also... He looked terrific that night. I was. But to study for his fight tonight, I watched that fight guy. Ramos had never gone 10 rounds before. Well, that's a, a Lennox, so, you know, that's a level of concentration. You've got a constant pressure from Burgos, and you have to learn how to deal with that. Yeah, you've got to do a lot of work. Chops with the left hand and spins out, but there, there's a lot of defense here. Right back, and he goes, oh, you know what? I like what you just did to me. I'm going to do it to you, and it, it was a great comeback. So, again, we have a period of time. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's got to he's got to think about a couple different things. Getting caught again with body shots and getting caught with, you know, uh, overhand rights or any any sh shot like that. So he's got to keep his defense in check when he's boxing. About a danger here, but there there is a 25-year-old Starling Castillo who has looked very classy against the difficult and rugged Juan Carlos Burgos. See, that's, that's, uh, mo most guys will uh, show a lot of game and they get hit and they smile. Burgos actually smiles like... That's your point, Lennox. I think you made this earlier. He, he, even at the age of 33, Burgos is a threat. He's not 
Yeah, look, he's not a world championship. He's been aggressive. I think he's been effective. Nice little step back counter hook. Up and right hand. Yeah, good to go. You know what, Joe? You, with, with Juan Carlos Burgos, you get what you're being trunks. Excuse me. I see the punches thrown here, round per round. But Castillo out throwing, which is in combination constantly. And you know one thing you see in this fight? Not a lot of clinches. These no. guys are working yeah, inside. No, yeah. no. But I will tell you something. I'm, I'm just an honor. I thought he was up seven, eight rounds out of the ten. I wouldn't have his good. But you know the general orders. Yeah. No, I, I like what but he's tough. You're winning this fight. Violence, so he's, he's given him violence in this last round. <laughs> Well, he, he's, he's he eating got, some he good got, shots, though. Joe, to your point, Burgos is able to rock him here. Right, that's what I'm saying. He's able to spin his head around a little more. What you wish for, you just might get it. <laughs> he's not leaving it in the bag. He's, he's definitely yeah. giving it all. You better Burgos break, still Burgos. throwing. Combination lands the uppercut as well. Body, good body shots. Right hand lands from Castillo. They are moving each other around, slugging to the belt. Look at this. Great left. Great left. Ten seconds to the belt. Final seconds, and they're throwing everything they have left. Wow. Oh, what a flourish. Great. Fuck the belt. Good effort. That is an, an out, outstanding effort. And still undefeated, El Poli. Starling.